Hey now, I'm Rod West. I'm a musician, producer, mixer. Uh, follow my blog at rodsroom.com and follow me on social media at Rod's Room on Twitter, Minds, and Gab. I want to share with you how to do audio to MIDI in Reaper using the plugin M-Tuner. So I have my session set up with a loop of a bass line. Uh, here is M-Tuner. It's free from Melda Production, and it's essentially a tuner, um, so you can plug your instrument in and see whether it's in tune or not. Um, but it also has an awesome feature in which it outputs MIDI. So it comes with the Melda Production free bundle. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there. It's pretty neat. Um, I play around with a lot of their stuff. Their thing is switching uh, between stereo, left, right, and mid-side processing. Uh, so here is the bass line. So kind of just the typical uh, blues bass line. Um, so I'm going to stick a bunch of plugins uh, on here and explain once they're all in there um, what to do with them. So I'm going to do retune. After retune, I'm going to do regate. And then I'm going to put M tuner on. It's important if you have the choice between AU and VST, choose VST or VST3. Um, otherwise, MIDI will not be output. And finally, I'm going to do Recontrol MIDI, and that's going to give me some options for uh, transposing and snapping to keys and things like that. So first, I'm going to turn on uh, Automatic Pitch Correction in Retune. Uh, I'm going to set a really short attack time, and that's not completely necessary for this to work, but I just want to make sure that the proper tones are coming out. And uh, I turned off Stereo Correction there. So that's pretty much it for that. Again, not 100% necessary, but you might be able to save yourself some hassle with something that might be particularly out of tune. Regate, um, again, this is another fail safe. Um, it's not necessary to get this to work, and as you'll see in, in M Tuner, there are some uh, gate features that you can activate once you turn on the MIDI output. I just like to sort of control this. This can have a big impact once you start digging in and uh, mixing this into uh, your song, however you see fit. So here's M Tuner. Uh, might look different uh, in Apple versus Windows. I'm using my Windows machine now to do this. So let's turn on the MIDI output. And if you look at the bottom, you can see notes scrolling by. So those are the notes that it's going to output in MIDI. So stabilization is going to literally stabilize the notes, uh, put out fewer notes rather than trying to do every single nuance and, and harmonic overtone. Um, that could create a little tiny bit of chaos. Um, so I would imagine that's the thing that you're going to be messing with the most. And then you have your threshold and your range. Those are your gate settings. Uh, probably okay to keep the default settings there. And here's Recontrol MIDI. So with Recontrol MIDI, I can do things like snap to a scale. So I happen to know that this is in the key of A blues. So I'm going to put that on there. I'm not going to use it right away. But I'll show you what that does once we get our synthesizer set up. So here we go. Now I want to send this to a synthesizer and essentially create a layer of this bass line. Of course, you could do this with a guitar. You can do this with, um, with any melodic instrument. So I'm just going to use Resynth for this. You can use whatever MIDI synthesizer you want. Uh, Resynth is just nice and simple. I won't have to worry about a bunch of bells and whistles. So I'm just going to make a couple of little adjustments to the volume. Now, I'm going to transpose the notes at first because it, it's a little bit muddy when you're setting this up. And now, of course, let's root MIDI. We don't want the audio. We're going to root all the MIDI from the bass channel. 
to the synthesizer channel. And there you have it. So now the bass is also playing the synthesizer. There's a little tiny bit of, uh, of latency. Which, of course, you can fix by just recording the audio signal and moving it up and down in time. Right now, I'm just messing around with the different layers, and you can start to imagine, if you're doing this, depending on what instrument, how you might layer this in and make a, you know, have a cool effect. So we can have super mega bass, whatever you want. Let's do minus one octave. Ah, so now that's something that you might actually want to do and use in a song. So you're going to create a, an octave lower to uh, mirror the bass line. So I'm clicking in uh, snap to scale. Um, as you can see, there's not too terribly much of a difference, um, but when I show you the MIDI that it's outputting on a MIDI roll, you'll kind of get the picture of what that might do. So there are like little ghost notes and things. Uh, this bass player is sliding and doing hammer-ons, and if you snap to the scale, it's going to skip some notes. So let's go ahead. We're going to set it to record the output uh, MIDI. And then we'll take a look at the notes that it creates. Let's get rid of this extra take. So there's the notes that it output. And as you can see, there's the, the little blips. Um, so now I'm turning off the original channel and this is just the MIDI driving the synthesizer and it sounds amazingly like the bass line so if I were to snap to key all those little incidental notes would uh, would go away and they would snap to a key and it might sound a little less fluid and uh, a little bit weird So if you were to decide to use the MIDI, of course, you could correct it and, and do any number of things, delete notes and drag notes to make them longer, things like that. As an effect, it, I kind of like to just leave it alone and let it do its thing. So. Let me just do one last little fancy thing. This is a very Reaper-esque thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to create uh, two synthesizers that will be driven by the MIDI and uh, make a stereo effect. And this is one of those things I learned if you look at Kenny Joya's Reaper stuff. And that's it. So that is audio to MIDI in Reaper. You can do this with any melodic instrument, guitar, voice, if you want to do uh, you know, some kind of crazy pitch effect with a voice. I hope you enjoyed this. Check out my blog at rodsroom.com. That's R-O-D-Z-R-O-O-M as in Mary dot com. And follow me at Rod's Room on Twitter, Minds, and Gab. Hope you find this useful. And I'll see you next time.